Achilles commanded the Trojan offensive in the final assault on the walls of Troy. He wanted to conquer the city that day, and everything looked favorable. Using their long ladders, the Greeks began trying to scale the walls, while the Trojans mounted desperate defenses. Aeneas led the Trojans outside the walls. If they could not destroy the great stairs, the city would be lost. Achilles, with his dreadful blows, kept sending Trojans to the kingdom of Hades. The defenders' fortitude was weakening. Afraid of dying, the Trojans began to flee, while Achilles impaled them with Peleus's spear. Suddenly, Apollo appeared before Achilles and ordered him to stop the advance, for it was written in destiny that he would never overcome the Trojan walls. But Achilles ignored him and told the god to go back to the other deities. If he tried to stop him, Apollo would have a taste of Peleus's spear. Apollo gave way to the senseless Greek warrior, but he could not let him get away with such an insult. The excellent archer Paris focused as hard as he could. With the help of the luminous god, he fired a devastating arrow. Guided by Apollo, the prince's arrow hit Achilles' heel, his only weak point. Achilles was practically invulnerable, for his divine mother had performed a ritual where he was submerged in the waters of the sacred river. But the only unprotected part of his body was his heel, for it had not come into contact with the water. Mortally wounded, his blood flowed abundantly in the stricken area. Achilles called the one who struck him from behind, and at a safe distance, a coward, for his opponent did not have the courage to meet him face to face. Achilles still managed to stand up. He staggered forward against his enemies, managing to kill a few more enemies before running out of strength. To everyone's surprise, Achilles tumbled to the ground, and the sound of the impact of his armor against the ground was heard throughout the battlefield. The greatest of all heroes was dead. Paris celebrated the victory over the best Greek warrior and ordered the Trojans to plunder Achilles' weapons and armor. The Trojan soldiers, who had previously fled, rushed to pillage the hero's body. Ajax appeared on the scene, raising his mighty warhammer to scare away the Trojans trying to snatch Achilles' body. Odysseus gave cover to the strong Ajax so that he could put Achilles' body on his shoulders and set off for the Greek camp. Ajax used his enormous strength to quickly cross all the way to the camp. Many said that, for this heroic feat, he would pay a terrible price. Completely exhausted, Ajax accomplished his mission and rescued the body of his dear friend. Achilles' body received due care and was mourned by all the Greeks who grieved the departure of the most glorious warrior among them. Thetis appeared in the sea waters to bid farewell to the son she had tried so hard to divert from his fate. She covered her son's body with her tears, and everyone present was moved by that mournful scene. Achilles was cremated on a huge funeral pyre, worthy of the greatest of kings. His bones were buried next to the remains of his beloved friend Patroclus. They met again on the Elysian fields.